Andy, great thing about your new facility here in uh, Anstey Park is the fact that these machines are here, you can run demonstrations, you're carrying them in stock, and that's primarily why we're, why we're here today, because this C800, uh, the new B series, is available from stock, isn't it? Just tell us a little bit about this model of uh, EDM machine. Well, this is now the largest in our range, so an 800X, 600Y, 310 as standard in Z. There is now uh, a 510 option as well, 510 in what, in the in Z? Z? stroke, yes. So we're up to 510 in Z. Same X and Y, but higher in the Z. OK, now this is the B series, isn't it? This, this was introduced about 18 months uh, ago? Roughly 18 months ago, yes. Um, it coincided with a change of stroke as well on the smaller machine. So the 400 went to a full 400 X stroke. And what, what are some of the things that's on the B series that might not have been or that weren't on the A? Yes, yeah, so we've got a feature called core stitch. This allows us to cut the profile complete, normally that profile would fall, would come free and want to fall, fall through the component. We can now stitch it in place using some of the brass from the wire. So before where you may have, uh, the, the, the slugs would have dropped away for example, they're not doing that now and you come and you could just tap them out after the operation? Correct, correct. So if you had a, a large die plate that this could take say 30 apertures in one die plate, traditionally you would go back, stop the machine, lift the Z up, take the slug away, restart machining again. What we can do now is completely finish the machining and then at the very end it's only one uh, one return to the machine, knock out all the slugs and then if skimming is going to take place can carry on skimming. Okay and what about the wire feed on this? What if, if a wire breaks? If the wire breaks we have a feature called AI wire feed which allows us where the cut path um, breakage is we can back off one millimetre, feed down back through the cut path Obviously, if we have a stitch in place, traditionally we'd go back to the start point and retrace. With the stitch there, you can't do that. So the advantage of this feeding through 150 mil, we can feed back down through the cut path. And what would be the maximum thickness of, of part you could do on this machine, do you think? Um, 50 mil is the sort of average, but then again, it's the weight of the component as well. So a couple of combinations, but 50 mil is the maximum at the moment. And what about the thickness of the wire, Andy, on this machine? What, what would that be? Yeah, it ranges from 0.1 to 0.3. Okay, and then I like this control as well, and I also like the software that, that you have now that some of your users are using. Fa fa yeah, Cam I. So, fa Fanic, obviously, your machine, your control, your yeah. drives, the whole thing is Fanic, isn't it? It is, yeah. Software's purely dedicated to Fanic Robocut EDM. Complete Tell us about that Cam I. Yeah, Cam I is a, a complete CAD CAM package, import DXF, IG steps, uh, completely programmed offline. That includes all your EDM data as well, so everything's synchronized into one program. So once you've loaded a program, do your date and find, and away you go. This machine's in stock here, isn't it? Uh, you, you're bringing them in regularly. Uh, if, if engineers want to bring their parts, do demonstrations, they can just give you a call and, and come down here and do that? Yeah, for sure. We've got the three machines in the range. We can do demos on all three products. Um, we aim for a four-week lead time on all machines at the present time. So and if there was an urgent requirement to get one of these in a machine shop quickly, the fact it's here, you could turn it around fast, couldn't you? This one's available if it needed to be that quick, yeah.